All right, y'all, we are back with another video. Now, we are back with Miss Judge Janine. I kind of uh, got recommended uh, her like a, a couple videos ago. Y'all was telling me about her, and she absolutely went off on all of them that's trying to down Trump. Does she feel like he was set up and all type of stuff that she's saying they're trying to stop him from running for president? Like, Judge Janine went off. Now, I'm back with this one where she said that uh trump search warrant was subterfuge to take him down i'm guessing they use like tricky ways they trying to use like tricky ways and stuff like that to keep this man from running for president so like i said judge janine she's back we're gonna check out what she had to say about this one about the search warrant being subterfuge so we're gonna check it out like i said make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe to the channel and shout out to everybody that's been showing love leaving positive comments and uh, everybody that's been uh, hitting that like button, I really appreciate it. So let's keep it going, y'all. So without further ado, let's find out what Judge Janine got to say about this one because she absolutely just snapped last time. So let's check out what she got to say this time. New details emerging after the FBI stormed the private home of former President Donald Trump. The raid reportedly over an investigation into classified documents. Right. A source says agents looked at every single office safe and grabbed documents in boxes. And they were not being judicious about what they took. We are also learning that Trump's team voluntarily turned over 15 boxes to the government way back in January. And the former president's lawyers had a meeting with investigators in June over the issue. But they still decided to raid his place anyway. Trump coming out Man. swinging over what happened, saying, quote, it's a prosecutorial misconduct, the weaponization of the justice system and an attack by radical left Democrats who desperately don't want me to run for president in 2024. Republicans That's warning crazy. the DOJ and A.G. Garland they better be ready to explain themselves or face the consequences. What was on the warrant? What were you really doing? What were you looking for? Why not talk to President Trump and have him give the information you're after? We now find that justice in America is not equal. It's determined upon whether you want to go after a political a person or not. And you go after your political foes, I think that's wrong. The FBI, when it comes to Trump, has lost their way. This unending desire to destroy Trump and his family is frustrating. Wow. And the White House doesn't want to talk about it. A lot of people don't like that at all, the way is they treated Trump. Is this administration weaponizing the Justice Department and the FBI against political opponents? Peter, the president believes in the rule of law. The president believes in the independence of the Department yes, of Justice. That's a yes or no. Just no, is that is, no, it's a yes or a no for you. I'm answering the question. You may not like it, but I'm answering the question. I'm just, and I'm, no. No, nope. I'm answering the question and I'm telling you that we are not going to comment on a criminal investigation. Mm, wow. Judge, when I was reading that and came up upon that part about uh, classified documents, I heard you utter a two syllable word that began with B yeah. and ended with T. Care to explain how you feel about this? I did not utter those <laughs> words. You know who uttered those words? Harold, my friend to the left. Oh, I get accused of everything and no one wow. wants to take accountability for it. <laughs> All right, let me let me tell you what I think. Come on, Jerry. What happened to Donald Trump last night was a continuing example of the left's attempt for the last seven years to take this man down. Wow. That search warrant and the subsequent execution of that warrant was nothing more than a subterfuge, a fix, fishing expedition to get whatever they can against this man, because in seven years, they have not been able to get anything against him. We've got a politicized Justice Department, a politicized FBI. All I have to tell you is we've got a Department of Justice and an FBI that is willing to sick the FBI on parents as domestic terrorists. We now have the IRS about to sick 87,000 IRS agents against the rest of us. This is classic overreach. But let me tell you about Donald Trump. You get a search warrant on presidential records? Are you kidding me? Classified records that he could unilaterally declassify when he was president? He could say he declassified them? And Ooh. you come in, I was a judge. If you came to me and you said you wanted a search warrant, my first question is, why do you want a search warrant? 
Why not a subpoena? And if I had all the facts, I would know that this president had been working with them and had already given them 15 boxes that the media kept saying they were retrieved. But you know what? The oh, National man. Association of Records uh, uh, Archives, National Archives Records Administration, wrote a letter saying we obtained the cooperation of Trump representatives to locate records not uh, transferred to the National <laughs> Archives. They admitted when they kept saying, the media kept saying, oh, Trump didn't want to give him the records. Trump said, hey, look, well, I'm working with you. They gave him a letter saying, yeah, he was cooperating right. with yeah. us. Yeah. So yeah. now, now what they want this to is do crazy. is they, the FBI that lied to the FISA judges, the FBI that had a, an affidavit for a warrant that contained a uh, lie by Christopher Steele, who hated Donald Trump, a dossier that was false. They get these judges to sign the warrants. This is the same FBI, the same DOJ that comes out and doesn't prosecute any wrongdoing. They want to prosecute Donald Trump. For what? For an administrative error? Well, that's the thing. So, Assuming it's an error, that, and I'm not wow. willing to admit it. Well, the thing is, I mean, what, what the judge is hitting on is what uh, you had uh, Andy McCarthy on your show to talk about. Perhaps the motive, it has nothing this to do with crazy. the documents at all, but trying to link, they're trying to prep, pressure the DOJ to find evidence linking some kind of criminal activity on January 6th to Donald Trump. Yeah, so think about the pressure on Merrick Garland, right? Um, he's being accused essentially by uh, people on the left of not being tough enough, of not pushing a, prosec pushing a prosecution here. They've got a grand jury that is underway right now that's looking at uh, potential role in incitement of insurrection and uh, the stopping of a certification of the Electoral College. So that, that's going on over here on this side, right? Um, and then you have this raid that is ostensibly about this issue of preserving presidential records. Uh, <clears throat> But Andy McCarthy came on today and wrote a really good piece today that's in the New York Post that you can read, uh, where he basically said, look, they're, they're casting a wide net, exactly what Janine is saying. They're looking wow. uh, to fish through all of these documents and see if they can find anything that can help them in this. In Yo, the this is just crazy when your house just get raided. And then they say he already gave up 15 boxes of documents already, and he was cooperative. He, he ain't, like, try to keep them out or anything. He literally gave him 15 boxes of documents. He didn't. And basically, Judge Neen saying, hey, this is the left. They just don't want this man to run at all. They don't want this man to run in 2024. But th this right here is just crazy. I don't care who you is. Nobody should be just getting their house raided and you just, they just kick your dough in, coming in there with guns and all type of stuff. And like, she, and like the judge said, they just don't want this man to run. They don't want him to run. Even Trump said it himself. They just don't want me to run in 2024. They're trying to do everything they can to keep me from running. Like, this is just crazy, though. Man. This uh, larger picture of what they're working on with this grand jury because they're under a lot of pressure to come up with something uh, to, con to get him not to run again in 2024. Yeah, well, I just but, you know, one of the, th the thing that kept striking me last night as I was watching the videos of these flashing lights outside the house, right? And I spoke to a former federal prosecutor this morning who said, you know, that the over you know, demonstration of people and cars and flashing lights in front of the house. Uh, they didn't need to go in there with that kind of force and that kind of uh, drama and theater. If they didn't get this right, this will be the biggest boondoggle in law enforcement history. It will do nothing but inspire this former president to run again and Absolutely. probably fire up his uh, supporters in a way. Let me think about it. Think about the way Roger Stone was brought in. Think about Peter Navarro. Think about all of the history here. Think about, you know, my mind goes back to James Comey going in in the early stages while they were in the transition with Michael Flynn and, and saying, and you know, when he said, you know, just send some guys over there. They're not really with it yet. They don't really know how this works. We're just up, send some agents over and see what you can get out of Michael Flynn before they really figure out how this all works. Wow. It goes all the way back to that, this story. So they better have it. They better have it nailed down airtight or it's going to blow up in their faces. But you, you do point out there is a pattern to this. So it... it, it Normally, you should be able to trust the FBI, but not in the last 10 no years. More. It's it's kind of over. But then you look at the fact that you Trump can't. is like an energy energy mo monster. Mm -hmm. They're just feeding him. This is going to make him run. This is going to, like, do you think that they've caused yeah, the... It's definitely going to make the man run in 20, uh, 2024. You think about it. Look at all this stuff that Donald Trump is going through right now. Imagine, like I said, uh, once all this is over and he was to get out of all this, this whole situation. Oh, man, this man is going to be fired up.
to run in 2024. Hmm, liberals ain't gonna like that. <laughs> the opposite reaction. I've never seen the base more energized. I've never seen the base more angry. I'm angry. I feel violated. The whole country feels violated. It's disgusting. They've declared war on us, and now it's game on. Imagine you're Eric Trump and you're at Mar-a-Lago. That's your home. Your mother has just died two weeks ago, and they're sending <coughs> FBI agents with weapons into your house, violating your privacy That's like that. That's crazy. It's unbelievable. The, over the Presidential Records Act, Greg... <laughs> That's like a librarian sending armed agents into your house. The Presidential Records Act. First of all, we can't even trust that this warrant wasn't corrupt. I mean, they cooked up. And that's the thing right there, Donald Trump. Like, like why would y'all raid the man's house? Y'all raid the president's house. Just raid him. Kick the man door in. Man could have had, like, family there, kids, anything. They just kicked. That's what I'm saying, man. The FBI, they... They don't care. <laughs> Man, these folks don't care well, at all. Fake warrant last time when they spot on the Trump campaign. They doctored evidence. They forged documents to get it. How do we know they're not planning evidence right now? They planted evidence with Crooked and the CIA and the FBI already. And you can't trust this judge. They said, oh, well, a judge must have signed off on it. The judge is an Obama donor. The judge defended Jeffrey Epstein's team. You can't trust this guy. <coughs> wow. So they go in, they'll probably do a fishing expedition. God knows what they're going to find or plant or fake, but it's also trying to freeze the Trump base. You know, you're going to vote for this guy. You know, he could be indicted soon. It's telling the Republican donors, hey, don't donate to this guy. Republican corporate guys, don't donate to this guy. He's toxic. You don't want to go near him. That's what's going on. It's intimidation. It's bullying. Wow. Look at this thing he did. He was cooperating. So he's about uh, almost nine months of cooperation. He's already handed over about 15 boxes. As Janine said, she's right. He could have declassified this before he left the White House. Mm -hmm. So they get in, they bring teams in already. They're showing them where his stuff is. They're showing them where they keep it. The team says, all right, keep it secure, keep it locked up. Trump's lawyers were, Trump even stopped in and swung by and said, hello. Next thing you know, they send 30 men with a safe cracker. What the hell are they doing? And they told the Trump lawyers, don't look at what we're doing, don't record what they're doing. That's not by the book. No. Nope. And if you look at what Hillary's done, I mean, she's asking. Whoa, did they just, bro, I ain't no way that they came in that man's house and told him he can't record them. Man, you crazy. You in my house and saying that I can't record? You crazy. Recording is the best thing. They don't want you to record. Man, it ain't no way in the world. Ain't no way in the world somebody going to kick your dough in and tell you you better not record what they doing. So now it's your word against theirs. Man, ain't no way. Acid washed 30,000 emails under subpoena. Hillary's own lawyers smashed iPhones with hammers. And Comey comes out and he says, yes, they had over 100 classified documents in her possession in Chappaqua. And yes, they did break the law, but no prosecutor would ever touch it. And then Sandy Burglar goes into the National Archives and sets all kind of classified documents down his pants. They didn't raid his home. Two CIA directors had classified information on their home computers. Their homes weren't raided. An FBI director took sensitive documents outside. They didn't raid his home. This is bull, and it's going to boomerang big time. Everybody can feel it. So, Harold, uh, you've heard you 10 go. minutes of, uh, <laughs> of commentary. What, what, wow. do you, what strikes you about this? This is, a, this is obviously a very serious thing that went on last night, and it's affected a lot of people, right? Is this? Probably, probably the, the president even, even more so, the former mm -hmm. president. I look at this um, with a great deal of sympathy for someone who's been accused of something, and it looks as mm -hmm. if the president may be accused of something. Now, the judge and all of us know you're innocent until proven otherwise in our country, and right. the president and everyone is entitled to that, and, I, and that presumption of innocence stands. But here's what I can't get my, my arms around. Listening to all of this, there's no doubt this is unprecedented, historic. If the Justice Department has bungled this, this will be a colossal catastrophic. I'm 52 years old. It will be hard to reclaim credibility in my adult life. So they have that risk on them. Two, this is a court-approved uh, 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 warrant. Now, if a court approved a search warrant for my home, Mm -hmm. And they came in a nut search warrant said, we believe you have 10 kilos of cocaine, 10 AK-47s, three documents showing you're going to work with Russia, two documents with China to betray our country. 
I turn that warrant right over to you, Greg. Mm -hmm. I turn it over to you, Judge. I turn it over to you, Martha, you, Jesse, and every other show here at Fox. And I'd ask Suzanne Scott to let me turn it over to CNN mm -hmm. also, because I'd want everyone to know I'm innocent. Mm -hmm. I have no clue why they would come to my home, why they mm -hmm. thought they would find this. And you should ask them if they found it. I hear what everybody's saying. This is a great political strategy you guys have articulated. In fact, if I ever get in trouble, I want you all to articulate <laughs> one for me. What well, is I don't know this guy right here, but he is talking. He <laughs> he is talking to talk right now. Not as a legal strategy, because the legal strategy would be, and Judge, I would ask you this question in just about yep. 30 seconds more I have here. If you were advising, put aside President Clinton, any client that had this happen to them, would you not say that search warrant enumerates what they were coming here to look for? Let's release that to the press. And if we believe there was some wrongdoing here and you were my lawyer, Judge, I'd have you march me right into federal court this morning to say that this was illegal, they had no right to do this, and I want the world to know that not only am I innocent, I have no clue what these people were looking for. Now, the speculation about what this is about January 6th, Georgia, New York, some classified documents, I have no clue. I've read all the reporting. I saw some reporting last week that said that there was this, this awful story, this 10-year-old little girl uh, that, that was raped and, and was an incest case, and you had attorney generals across the country, including in those two states, said, we don't know what this case is about. We think the Democrats have made it all up, only to have to come back and recant to find out when the you facts came out. You want to know what my answer so is? So I think we should wait for the facts to come out here. Oh. I, the president is presumed innocent. Mm -hmm. until yeah, proven otherwise. You. And thank I agree you. with that. And but your speculation, I just think, is, is just a I don't off, think off it's base. speculation at all. You do not, you do not break into a house of a guy that you've been working with for nine months yep. that you have to admit has been cooperating with you for presidential records? No. Can I ask you a question? No. I'm <laughs> going to answer your question. Yes, and you do not do that <laughs> and have guys with AR-15 and playing. women, I might add, at the front of Mar-a-Lago in a situation like this where the man's about to announce for president if he's going to run for president. But if I were the lawyer, the first thing I'd say is, as a citizen of the United States, States. I want to know from the Department of Justice why you're doing this. I want to know from the FBI whether or not this is legitimate because everything that you've done regarding Donald Trump has been illegal, illegitimate, and immoral, and the country knows it. And you have destroyed our faith in the justice system. Just one question, Judge. Don't, and it's don't, not don't, Donald don't. Trump's fault. It's their fault. His lawyers have that search warrant. They could release and it. And the, the government can answer the question. All right. Wow. That was a great What a A-block. judge ain't playing. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. Bro, Judge Janine. Oh, my God. This woman do not play around. At the end of the day, she said they are wrong for doing that, for breaking in that man's house like that. You know what I'm saying? That is just crazy. And he had already, like they said, he even gave him 15 boxes of documents already. And they still broke back in there. Like I said, they doing everything they can because they don't want the man to run. That's all that is. So, you know. It's crazy. Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about this. Like I said, this right here was just nuts. You know. But like I said, we have made it to the end of the video. Like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.